What's up guys? The most asked question on my YouTube channel is how I export slow motion 1080p footage to 4K and why I do that. And I will give you an answer to that. So if we have a quick look on the bit rates that YouTube is supporting for each video resolution, we can clearly see that 4K uses the highest amount of bit rate, while 1080p only supports 8 megabytes per second and that is a lot less and most of our cameras are shooting much higher bit rates even in full HD so why should you waste the quality? Now unless you don't have a camera that actually shoots 4k 60 frames and you want to have the best quality on YouTube for your slow motion footage you should definitely upscale your 1080p video and export it to 4K on YouTube. You can then watch it on different devices in 4K with a higher bitrate, which results in a better quality even if you watch it in 4K on a full HD monitor. Now to achieve that we jump into Adobe Premiere Pro CC. As you can see here, I have my intro sequence that you saw in the beginning. There's only one adjustment layer over it where I applied my LUT to it. And now in my videos I'm working with different clips that are shot either in 4K or 1080p slow motion. And so I always create a 4K timeline. And as you can see here, these are all 1080p slow motion clips from my Sony a7 III. And when you drag one clip into your 4K timeline that is smaller than on 100%, it would actually look like that. So to match the clip into your timeline, I simply right click on it and I choose set to frame size. But never use the scale to frame size that will mess up your clips. Now we want to export it perfectly for YouTube in 4K in 21 to 9 widescreen aspect ratio. Normally what people do is just throw any black bars onto the footage and I was guilty of that too, but today I'm showing you how to do it the right way. But actually we're also using black bars on our footage but that is so you can check your video before you render it if the framing of your clips is still looking good. And when you're not happy with framing of one clip, you can then simply change the position of your clip to reframe it. Now we click on File Export Media and then there is the export dialog popping up. And as you can see, it is a normal 4K sequence and now we are choosing a standard export preset that comes with Premiere Pro CC. Now the only thing that we are changing are two checkboxes. One is the use maximum render quality and the other one is render at maximum depth. Now if you want to render your video in 16 to 9 aspect ratio, you simply click on export and you're good to go. But if you want to export your video in cinema like widescreen aspect ratio, you first click on the source tab in the left upper corner and then you click on to the crop tool. Now you just need to take some pixels away from the top and the bottom and normally that would need some calculations but I already did the math for you. So you simply reduce the top by 264 pixels and also the bottom by the same amount of pixels. Now you can already see that we crop the black bars away and the last step that we make is to click back to our output tab in the left corner and then we have to change the height of the clip from 2160 pixels to 1632 pixels and that's all the magic to it we don't have to change anything else now the last step is 
to click on export and you can upload your video to YouTube. I hope that video was helpful to you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So see you next time.